Hi and welcome to the 737-800 home cockpit channel. On today's video we are going to build the rudder mechanism. Before we start just a little disclaimer. This is purely for cosmetics. This does absolutely nothing. There is no real mechanism uh, to, to adjust the rudder. It's just a, a replica a, trying to make a replica as close as possible but it's not real so if you search for a video that you really want to find how to build a rudder mechanism to, to, to adjust the rudder then this is not the video for you and uh, you can move forward uh, if you just like to see how I build this cosmetic part then stick around and uh, you'll see how I do it the first thing I do on any new project is the design I generally go into SketchUp and draw what I want to build and then I take the information from SketchUp and move it to a different tool that shows me how to start cutting the parts, uh, how much parts I need, and what's the best way to save as much material as possible. Every time I cut a part, I mark it on my design and I move on to the next. Here is where things start going wrong and not just with filming but also with the editing uh, I, I, I lost part of the of the movie and I also lost the sound so what happens is I, I've attached the uh, two sides and a back uh, and these two little parts right in front that you see now is what is going to make the legs they have the same angle at the side uh, at, at the two sides and you'll see this when I turn it around and I add the other parts you'll see how this comes along uh, it is much better now that it's turned around you, I think you can see where I'm trying to go with this uh, everything is generally always pre-drilled before uh, this is MDF remember so if you just put in a screw uh, that goes in the vertical parts you will most probably split the wood this is 12 millimeters I think it's 12 millimeters MDF uh, you just really need to be careful so always pre-drill and then drive the screw in in this case everything is always glued first and then followed up with screws I would say like in any other woodworking project well comes the nicest part of the project which is sanding and sanding and sanding and sanding a lot more uh, in this case I I actually use some pretty rough paper uh, the first pass and I do that to uh, to remove any uh, any parts that are imperfect there is a lot of little parts joining together so you're always bound to have a little bit of edges uh, and as you can see I always go back with my hand to make sure that the, the transition between one part and another is always nice and smooth then after all after this is done I change the paper I put a finer one to give it a more of a smoother uh, feel uh, the MDF is already pretty smooth you don't really have to do it especially since I'm planning to cover this but I decided to do it anyway fast one <laughs> One last thing before we start covering this uh, this part with uh, uh, aluminum, as you'll see in a few minutes, is uh, uh, making a hole to make sure that I can pass the cable from the yoke under 
the rudder and then we'll come out to the other side of the cockpit which is going to be plugged into the USB hub. Uh, you, one thing you want to make sure is that the hole, the height of the hole is not too high or not too low. Make sure you check first where the connection of your yoke that you have uh, is going to be. And if you don't have a yoke yet because you haven't bought yet but you know which one, try and find this information on the internet. Uh, if you're buying the ACE yoke, go and check out one of my previous videos. I have all the measurements and all the information there. With the structure being finished, uh, the last part for this is to actually cover it with aluminum. Um, the, the process is rather simple. It's just you want to take your time and make sure you, uh, you, you cut it right. So since the MDF is now covered by the aluminium, uh, I don't see anymore where the various MDF parts connect together and where I put in screws to connect the MDF. Uh, and one thing you don't want to do is then to put a new screw on top of the aluminium that ends up on top of an existing one. So what I did on the computer, I even on the plan I made on SketchUp, I even marked precisely where I've put every single screw on the MDF part so that now I know where not to go and put a new screw. For the sides, there is really no need to cover the entire sides because uh, this is going to be inside the map and you're just not going to see the, the full length. In fact, uh, what you basically need is just a little bit over the two little legs. That would be enough. But since the the, the leftover aluminium I had was already this length, I decided just to just to do it this way it was easier. All you have to do is put a few extra screws, but that's not a big loss. The only thing left to do is now to attach the rudder to it. So first, I position the rudder to the position where I. In, in the middle basically where uh, where it needs to be and as for where it should go like uh, two in front or two at the back again I, I don't have a com complete science or so I haven't found an actual website that gives me the precise measures I just looked at picture and this is pretty much what I, I seem to see um, with a screwdriver and a hammer I mark what I want to pre-drill the holes and the holes are not for screw but the holes this time are going to be for nuts and bolts Finishing to put the bolts it will conclude the first part. The second part is going to be about putting, uh, creating the part that goes on top of the rudder and uh, then we have the other little bit with a handle uh, that should activate the, let's say, the mechanism of uh, moving the rudder. Uh, the video is getting way too long so I'll break it down in various parts. Now I do have this in a SketchUp format, so if anybody wants to, to see it uh, or use it as a base for their own build, let me know, let, leave me a message, your email address and I'll send it to you for free, it's no problem. Just remember, not every MIP is the same, so you will have to adjust to your proportion. So thank you for watching and stay tuned, I'll post the next video next week. Thank you, bye bye.